Hello friends, my name is Ellie and I'm here to do a review on this bag. Um, this is the Dooney & Burke Florentine Small Drawstring Shoulder Bag. And I happen to have it in the color Salmon. And the reason that I thought this might be useful is because when I was looking to make this purchase, I couldn't find any reviews on this bag. I made this purchase on eBay. Um, and it retails for $348. I did not buy it at that price. I, I got it at a significantly discounted price over the Labor Day um, sale time. Um, and I want to say that with everything, taxes and everything, I paid around $140 for it, which I thought was a really good deal. And I remember a similar bag being available last year called the Logan Drawstring Bag. And at that time, I didn't buy that one because I didn't like that um, the tassels in the front didn't have the green suede um, underneath. So when I saw this one, I thought, well, that's exactly what I like. I like that peak of green suede on the tassels and I, the tassels are right in the front so it's very very visible and attractive in my opinion. Um, this one also has the green suede at the opening of the bag which I think is super attractive especially against this beautiful salmon color. Um, so that was part of the reason why I decided to make this purchase but on eBay when you're looking at this bag it doesn't even give the dimensions or anything so I thought I could give a little bit of information on the bag that way if you're making um, if you're shopping around for something like this then you can make a good decision um, for yourself <clears throat> so I have my um, handy dandy uh, measuring tape here and let's see. So, um, the height of this bag is about nine inches. And then across the bottom, it is about eight, eight and a half inches approximately. And then in depth, it is about five and a half inches as you can see there. Um, the strap drop length is adjustable slightly as you can see um, but I have it at the at the drop that it came in and that is about 11 and a half inches um, so those are the dimensions of the bag some of the, the features of the bag so this bag I've worn it continuously for about a month at this point I did switch out of the bag already so I'm currently using um, this Nano um, Satchel from Dooney and & Burke, which I love. And now that I have it here <laughs> next to this bag, it'll give you an idea of the size of this bag. So this is the Nano. This is a very, very adorable, tiny Florentine Satchel. But you can see in comparison to this drawstring bag, that it's really not that big. This drawstring bag is a smaller bag. However, it fits a lot more than this one does. So that is something else to take note of. Um, <clears throat> so the other thing that I do like is that this um, leather piece here that that is what serves to close the bag, as you can see, um, these have this ring here. Some of them, and, and I can't tell you which models don't have it, but some of these drawstring bags from Dooney & Burke don't have that ring. So I do think that this is very, very attractive. Um, the hardware is like this matte gold color, which is very, very lovely. And it does stay closed. I will tell you, as I've been using it, um, if I close the the bag this way it doesn't just open by itself it remains closed um, and then it has this beautiful leather duck logo right there it has feet which I appreciate 
Um, I feel like it helps protect the bottom of the bag a little bit. And then that's what it looks like from the back and from the side. Um, the rings are, some of these bags, <clears throat> they come with thicker, larger rings. These are small. Um, and probably that has to do with the, the general size of the bag. Um, so, something else that I noticed when I was using this bag was the weight. This bag is actually pretty light, um, which I thought was really, really interesting. Um, so, I have my scale here, and I wanted to go ahead and provide a measurement of weight just so that you can see. So it weighs about a pound and four ounces or 3.7 ounces. Um, when you're carrying it, it feels pretty light. Um, I guess something else that some people might be interested in is the strap width. So you can see here, um, it's a, a little over half an inch um, the half inch ends right about here, so just barely over that half inch. Um, however, even when I had the bag pretty full, I didn't feel like it was too heavy. So that is one of the advantages of this bag, especially it being Florentine, because Florentine is known for being super, super heavy. So um, I did notice that, that this bag is actually very, very lightweight. And to give you an idea of what fits in the bag, I'm going to put some of my things inside just so that you can see. Um, it does have a slip pocket right there. And then it has another slip pocket right there. And then a zippered pocket. Um, and then that, that leather logo right there. Um, usually I just, I don't even use any of the pockets. I just put my stuff inside. So, um, some of the things that I have here, I have my little coin um, purse that I use, and I usually don't put coins in here. I put other little knickknacks in there, um, and then I have my wallet, which is very beautiful, um, fuchsia color. I have, um, I have this <laughs> that I don't always use, but sometimes I carry it. So it has my pepper spray, my hand sanitizer. It has this little device um, that you can use for self-protection, this alarm, a little tiny flashlight, and then a wrist strap. So like if I go walking or something, I like to have that with me. Um, that way it's, it's a safety thing. Um, I have my little glasses case, and that fits very, very easily in there. I have a mini, mini <laughs> Tupperware thing where I carry extra pills, like just Tylenol, ibuprofen, allergy medicine, things like that. I have a hand sanitizer. So again, still lots and lots of room. I feel like these are some of my basic necessities. So now we're adding a few extra things. So I do have a little hairbrush that sometimes I like to carry with me. So that goes in there very, very easily as well. I have a lip gloss. Um, again, still plenty of room to like toss your stuff around. And then I have a little mini lotion. Again, fits very, very easily. I have some, some keys here. Um, so again, that fits in there very, very easily. And my phone fits mini iPad. <laughs> Still fits um, and then if I wanted to stick a water bottle in there now we're getting a little a little stuffed but probably if I jostle some of these things around it still fits at this point it probably wouldn't close um, but it fits and I can carry all of these things um, very very easily and and it's great. It's a really, really great bag. I really, really like this bag, um, and I've enjoyed using it. Um, if I wanted it to cinch, then I would probably have to take out that water bottle and the iPad, and then I can go ahead and cinch it. And like I said, as I've been carrying it, I've noticed that the cinch does not come undone. 
which is really great. Um, so if it's a lot, I think it's a great bag. I totally recommend it. Um, I find that the leather on this bag is quite light in comparison to other Florentine bags. And I love the green suede that peeks underneath the tassels. I think it's beautiful. Um, so that's that, that's my recommendation. Um, and I'm sure, you know, the sales on eBay from I Love Dooney come and go. So it'll probably, that discounted price will probably come back around. I think at this time it's only about 30% off, but they're always putting them on sale. Um, so it's a great place to shop and to get them at a better price than you would from Dooney.com. Um, the the prices are generally comparable to Isle of Dooney, but I honestly I think the customer service on eBay is better. <laughs> um, it's easier to return things. I've never had to return one of my Dooney bags that I've bought from eBay, but I feel more comfortable um, knowing that their return policy is so easy in comparison to Isle of Dooney. So. That's why I usually prefer to buy them from the Isle of Dooney on eBay. Um, so yeah, this is the Dooney & Burke small drawstring shoulder bag. And I hope this review came out okay. I tried to film everything on one go. And this is my first video. So I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see um, any other of my pieces, today you saw that I do have this beautiful Nano then let me know and I would love um, to do that for you. So thank you, have a good rest of your day, bye-bye.